thank you very much for watching the Class Heroes films. This is the obligatory making of feature that you get on DVDs, which nobody watches except for me. And I'd just like to use it to showcase the hard work that so many people put into this film to make it possible. I started filming in July 2014, and they took a year to make. So my first day's filming was actually in Norwich, which doubled for the mean streets of London. And this is an actor called Jezu, and he's playing Nicky Cairo. And I'd like to thank the Act On casting agency for putting me in touch with Jezu. And he was a really nice guy, and he played the part beautifully. After that, we did a day's filming in London. I contacted a guy called Alex at Parkour Generations. He arranged for one of their parkour performers, uh, a girl called Magdalena, to be the character of Lolly Rosewood. And then he choreographed chase scene across London, which you saw in the film. And they did it for virtually next to nothing. I mean, these guys normally charged a considerable amount of money for their services because they are so in demand. But because they were interested in my project, they agreed to do it for pence, basically. So I was very lucky to, uh, to work with them. So myself, uh, my director of photography, Ian Martin, and Mike Cook, who played the MI6 agent, we all went to London. We did our day's filming. S went a little bit wrong uh, in that poor Magdalena did get injured on uh, that day. But Alex and Magdalena both agreed that they would like to come back to a second day's filming with Magdalena's injury at heel. And Mike said that he would be happy to do that too, so we were going to come back and film the second day of the Lolly Rosewood film at a later date. Over the summer holidays, I got permission to film at University Campus Suffolk, for which I'd like to say a big thank you to Simon Hallsworth and Emma Gwinnett. And also a big thank you to all the people who turned up to be Sam and James's classmates and Sam and James's teacher. Hello, Helen. Jack Parker played the part of Will the Pill, and he was a lot of fun on set. And this was the first day's filming for <laughs> Luther Lucas and Jessica Robotham, who are playing James and Sam. And I have to say, I really enjoyed working with you guys. They're absolutely fantastic, really good actors, and just being on set was just really, really good fun. <laughs> My director of photography for this and the rest of the Class Hero shoot was Nick Woolgar and I was introduced to Nick uh, via a mutual friend and I have to say I was really really grateful to Nick for his incredible experience uh, in filmmaking and he just made it a very easy experience getting all those very difficult shots done in the time that we had. And in fact here's me ruining one of those shots by kicking a camera which has to remain in a fixed position in order to get the shot of Jess being both Sam and Auntie Katie at the same time. We did our filming at UCS and Rendlesham Forest all on the same day, although a lot of the Rendlesham Forest scenes actually got cut from the final film. As is quite common in movie making, many, many hours of footage actually just gets reduced down to a couple of on-screen minutes. And I often think it doesn't really do the actors justice to the amount of hard work that they put in time after time and take after take to get their scenes right. One of the great byproducts of making these films is that I got to meet a lot of new people and see a lot of the town uh, that I didn't previously know about or hadn't been to visit. And one of those places was the Ipswich Transport Museum. Uh, I got in contact with a gentleman called Alan Russell asking if it would be possible to come and film on some of the buses that they have up there. And he just could not have been nicer. He showed me around, coordinated with his fellow volunteers to make it possible that we could film on pretty much any vehicle that we wanted to. They positioned it just right. And everyone at the museum just went out of their way to make the day's filming go really smoothly. We got all the shots we needed and we had a lot of fun at the same time. And I was really impressed with the actors 
and all the guys who came along again to be Sam and James's classmates to really kind of sell this scene that they were on a school bus. Lots of shouting, screaming, people throwing themselves around in a confined space. I mean, you know, what better way to spend your school holidays? This is one of the most important aspects of filmmaking, and that's feeding the cast and crew. But also I need to keep people entertained. I take my responsibilities as director very seriously, and I like to give something back. A bit of clowning around. I knew what I was doing. It's very easy to take out of its bag and put back in its little tiny bag. It's, it's just a joke. I knew exactly what I was doing. I didn't need any help. In the smaller ones, you make a figure eight, but I yeah. don't know how that would yeah, work. Exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, that's. I used to have one like the reflective that you could do that with. And because I like to work my actors hard, on the same day that we filmed at the bus museum, we also then went and filmed at the town hall, uh, courtesy of Ipswich Borough Council, who let us use one of the chambers for filming, and that doubled as Sir Michael Rosewood's house, Wentworth Manor. Okay, set. Was that just... Better out than in, Luther. Was that a bird? <laughs> 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 everything, everything done, yeah? All, uh, everything out that needs to be out? Yeah, good. Action. <laughs> <laughs> and Sir Michael himself, played by Joel Tatham, was on set, being evil. <laughs> now this was the shoot that I just didn't even think was going to be possible. The script called for a number of scenes to be set in a hospital. There was Sam in a hospital bed, James and Sam being menaced by their zombie classmates, and the problem was how to find a location that would even slightly convincingly look like a hospital. And in the end, the best one was a hospital itself, and I had a, a light bulb moment one night, I woke up in the early hours of the morning and remembered that someone I used to work with was now head of HR at Ipswich Hospital, and I contacted her on that day, and within 24 hours she'd set in motion the process for making it happen. So for that I'm very grateful to Julie Fryant, who is head of HR, who put me in touch with Jan Ingle, who works in the hospital's press department, who in turn put me in touch with Gemma Morton, who is a nurse on the ward that we filmed in. And Gemma was amazing because she and her colleagues dressed the set. They provided all the props and facilities that we needed. They basically made it look like a convincing ward. You know, it just looked the part. Uh, they even put Sam's name above her bed and gave us the whole day to film. Action. Here's some more magic of the movies with more teasers. Unfortunately I didn't get any product placement money which is a shame. If the actors look tired it's because it was quite a long day where we're doing a lot of repetitive shots. Jess spent most of the morning lying in that bed which isn't as comfortable a, a morning's work as it probably sounds. But one thing I can definitely say is that when Luther's on set, there's never a dull moment, and he definitely kept our spirits up. You might not believe this, but I don't think he's actually even had any medical training. Once again, I really want to thank the actors and the supporting cast for their patience on that day, because it was a long day. That is immense. I tell you, it's really bad. Oh my word, check out clear a room. That's taking the paint off the wall. Can, so, can someone just move that cylinder out of the way, just in case? And also a big thank you to Nick Walgar because we had a huge number of shots to get through. Um, probably an impossible number for any normal movie set, but thanks to Nick's experience and his skill and expertise with the camera and his understanding of how to get the kind of shots that we needed, we managed to get everything in the can that I wanted, and I, at least, went home happy.
Yeah, that's cool. That was bad now. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, so if you pick it up, uh, just move sort of out of the way. I can just imagine it without any screen. Yep, rolling. This was a fun shoot down at Ipswich Marina where Joel Tatham played Sir Michael Rosewood again and Vicky Compton as his girlfriend and a cat appearing as itself. Well, I suppose all good villains need a cat and this one was determined to get itself on camera. The Coffee Link Cafe down at Ipswich Waterfront also let us film inside the cafe for the scenes where Sam is on her date with DJ Alchemy. And again, that was another example of people in the town going out of their way to give us support to make this film. But I think by this time, the tension and the hard work was starting to take its toll on the actor's sanity. <laughs> And by the time we return to UCS to film some additional scenes, things are just descended into mindless violence. The ones. Good. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, split your trousers. Right here. Right there. Right there, yep. Okay, yeah, I think. Is everyone. Anyway, drawing a modest veil over that, we returned to London in late October to film the remaining scenes for Lolly Rosewood. And that was a great day. The weather was really kind to us. Alex and Magdalena were on great form, and as you can see, they were pretty fearless in going up the sides of buildings, getting all those lovely rooftop shots. Alex himself has worked on a lot of films so he was able to give us the benefit of his experience on how to film action sequences, make some fights look realistic and we covered a lot of ground that day filming in Vauxhall, in Battersea and in Chelsea again and for the actors it was quite a physically gruelling shoot there was a lot of running, a lot more running more running than you'd even see in a Tom Cruise movie. I personally like doing a lot of running, but I did absolutely nothing on that day, but that's the benefit of being the director. <laughs> Here you can see Alex rehearsing, Magda and Mike taking them through the moves for the fight sequences. This is what independent filmmaking is all about. I still had a couple of shorter shoots to fit in to complete the films. Truth be told, I probably could have just carried on doing more stuff forever, but all good things have to come to an end. After that, I spent a lot of time editing the films, cutting them together. I got a lot of great feedback from Nick Woolgar over what worked and what didn't, how to make the film sharper, tighter, better. I also had a massive stroke of luck in being put in touch with the sound designer, James Cannell, from Fuzzy Beard Productions, and he worked on the sound design for all of the films, and he did a great job taking some of the dodgy audio that we'd had to record on location and improving it, and adding the foley effects, right, such as punching noises and running noises, and the music. And those elements really help to bring the films to life. And now here we are, films complete. I'm really pleased with them and I've had a great time making them, as you can probably tell. Learned a lot about filmmaking. And on that note, I want to give a special mention so, to yeah, Julian Merry from the Film for, Suffolk uh, Organisation, who was very supportive to me that. and Again. is yeah. to yeah. all yeah. filmmakers uh, and filmmaking yeah, projects yeah, in Suffolk. Up. So thank you very much. I've been lucky enough to be involved in a feature film that he's producing, yeah, which will be out <laughs> in February 2016. <laughs> and that's called cool, With Love from Suffolk. So I just thought I'd give that a little plug here as well. Thanks very much for watching and if you like what you see of Sam and James and Lolly, 
then you can follow their adventures in the Class Heroes books.